Well, the woman who was injured in a parasailing accident off of Waikiki Saturday is crediting employees of the parasailing tour company with saving her family's life. But as KITV 4's Jody Leong tells us, the woman also says the family never received a full safety briefing before embarking on their failed adventure. 32-year-old Amanda Goodsell says the mishap happened on her third time up. All she heard was the line snap, and she, her husband, and seven-year-old daughter were disconnected from the boat. Once we hit the water, the wind caught the parasail. It shot us backwards. We hit the water, and it was like a rocket backwards. Goodsell says the sail dragged her family on the ocean for what seemed like an eternity. She remembers trying to disconnect her harness. But we couldn't. There was nowhere to do it that we could find. Goodsell credits employees of Hawaiian parasailing with saving their lives by driving the boat over the sail, stopping their backward trajectory, and eventually pulling all three out of the water. But she says her family was not given a thorough safety briefing. It was literally like maybe 15 words of instruction before we went out. She says there was a squall, light rain and wind, and that's what the U.S. Coast Guard is looking at in its investigation of the case. The Coast Guard says Saturday's incident is Hawaiian Paracel's second in two years. In March of 2010, another line came apart. The Coast Guard found a 40-mile-an-hour wind gust contributed to that incident because it exceeded the manufacturer and industry standard for that type of line. And a similar situation may have contributed to Saturday's mishap. Won't put through any safety training on what to do other than to say disconnect. It looks like the, a wind gust was the major contributing factor to that incident. Uh, we had a gust of about 40 miles per hour, which exceeds the manufacturer's and a uh, recognized uh, industry standard for that type of parasail and line. The Coast Guard is still investigating Saturday's incident. Jody Leon, KITV4 News. The Coast Guard does not regulate equipment like the line itself. Commander Nobauer says parasailing companies are not required to give safety briefings, although it is recommended industry package practice. Goodsell says she suffered bruises all over her torso, her arms, and her face. Her husband and daughter were not seriously injured.